Becky and I'm back with a video today about purse slash car necessities. Uh, spring and summer are coming. We're going to be in our cars a lot more going back and forth to kids activities and going to the park and going to baseball games and different things like that. And I was just thinking the other day that there's quite a few things that I carry with me in my purse that have been so helpful. I've kind of compiled a list of the things that I think maybe be needed the most often if you're away from home, but not necessarily something you would think to put in your car or your purse. So the first thing I'm going to start with is a pair of tweezers. How many times have you gotten in the car and you looked in the rearview mirror thing and you're, first of all, you should never do that because they're horrible. But if you look in those mirrors, you realize that like you have a third eyebrow somewhere on your face. And you're like, oh, I wish I could have tweezers to pluck this. Well, I keep tweezers. I actually keep them in my car. You can keep them if you're in your purse if you want to. And I just bought this little travel set of Tweezer Man tweezers from Ulta. They were around $15, $20, something like that. I think Tweezer Man is probably the best tweezers I've ever used. And it's nice to have this little tiny, um, little tiny version. And it comes in this little tube. So I just kept it in the tube. And I put it in like there's a little coin slot kind of next to the steering wheel. I keep them in there. And so whenever I look at myself in the, in the mirror and I see like those 45 hairs that have, that have shot out since the night before, it's nice to be able to pluck them before I go in the store looking like a crazy person. The other thing I would say to bring is nail clippers for sure. My kids have always needed nail clippers. You can even use them if you need to trim like the tag off of something. Like if you go out and you realize you still have the tag on your shirt, you can use nail clippers to tag to trip, trim those. Bobby pins and ponytail holders. I carry bobby pins and ponytail holders everywhere. We have them in our kitchen. They're upstairs because we always need to be able to pull our hair back or your kids want a ponytail. They're sweating in the summer, so you can always have those. Another thing I would recommend is a hand cream, but even more so if you can find a hand cream that specifically has sunscreen in it. I know that the, I think it's the Very Emollient brand. I saw it at um, Bath, Bed Bath & Beyond today. And also the Hawaiian Tropic has the, the sunscreen that actually smells kind of like a, a scented body lotion and it's a lot um, you can try those for a hand cream to keep it in the car because we get a lot of sun damage through the windows when we drive and also like if you decide you want to go to the park and you realize hey I don't have any sunscreen with me if you have a little thing of a little tube of sunscreen in your purse then you won't have to worry about at the last minute getting a sunburn if you decide to go out and play and you're away from home and you don't have your sunscreen. Of course, flossers are nice if you really, or maybe a little pick, but don't throw them in the parking lot. That is so gross when you're getting in or out of your car and you look and there's somebody's used flosser laying on the ground. Get a trash can in your car and throw them in your car. That's disgusting. But it's not a bad idea to have some kind of a flosser or pick to keep just in case you get something in your teeth. And I've mentioned these in other videos. I carry these in my purse. These are the travel wet ones, individually wrapped, and you can get them anywhere at Target or Walmart. I love these things. Um, they kill 99% of the germs, and we keep a canister of these in the car, but like these are for the pur my purse, so when we go out to eat, I can wipe my hands. Like if I've got a pager and I have to go touch the pager and then I sit down to eat, I want to wipe my hands. Um, we always wipe our hands before we eat if we can't get to a restroom to wash them. So these are so handy to have not just when you have babies i mean my oldest is 11 now and i use them my husband you, you know so it's really nice to have these i would also recommend getting the canister of wipes um, and keeping them in a cup holder in your car and that way whenever you get in the car from shopping you can always wipe your hands one thing that's very important to me and you probably saw it in my what's in my purse video if you watched that this is my coach kind of travel medicine thing and you don't have to get a coach one i've seen hobby lobby has them uh, i'm sure you could probably find one at a travel store maybe bed bath and beyond but it normally has three little containers and I keep one with Tylenol, one with Tums, and then I keep my Pepto pills in the bottom and I just cut the little back off of the box so I would remember how many to take. These come in so, so in handy. I mean, I have a lot of stomach issues, especially when I travel, but you know, if you're out somewhere and you have a headache, you're always going to have your medicine with you and I love this thing. It would also make a great Easter basket gift for a woman or, um, you know, maybe even a stocking stuffer if you think, if you know, if, if you can think about Christmas right now, which sounds horrible to think about but it would be a good stocking stuffer for that um uh, back to the wipe situation the clorox wipes i have used these things since my daughters were babies um use them for high chairs use them for the handle of the buggies use them for the table if the table doesn't get cleaned off that happens a lot we eat at panera a lot and they don't they're just so busy they don't have time to wipe the tables in between everybody so i carry these in my purse and i wipe my own table if i need to so those come in really handy and you'll find them in the travel section at like walmart or target of course a car charger tissues and gum those are basics um it would be nice to keep a flashlight in your purse and kind of along the same lines i showed this in my what's in my purse video as well this is a purse gem so it basically just when you tap it the light comes on 
This one did come from QVC. Nope, this one came from Hobby Lobby. Um, but I did see them at Party City today. They were $5 a piece. The only bad thing is you cannot replace the battery, but you can turn it on and off. There is a switch. It's also got a little ring so you can hook it from your keys if you want to. But it comes in handy when you're trying to fumble around in your purse looking for something. You can just tap your purse and this will come on and you can see. Uh, another thing I, I have in my purse but I forgot to bring up here to show you is an atomizer for perfume. Um, just, you know, keeping that in there to put whatever perfume you like in there and freshen up whenever you need to. That's always really handy. Another thing that I like to keep in my purse is a little pad of paper and a shuttle pen, which if you remember these from the 90s, this one is a Centos brand when it came from Staples. But basically you can just change whatever color ink you want and each of my daughters has one. And that way I only have to take one thing for each girl instead of like 12 markers or whatever and they could draw in different colors, but it doesn't take up a lot of room in my purse and it's scented and it's cute. So that was on clearance for a dollar at Staples um, probably before Christmas. But you can find things like this other places. I've seen them in the Target dollar spot before that were Hello Kitty ones. So just a good idea when you have kids, keep a notepad in your purse and a pen and it keeps them busy when you're waiting on something. And the last thing I would say is a Your Lips But Better lip color. Something you don't have to have a lip liner and a gloss and everything for. Just something that's as close to your own nat natural lip color as possible that you can put on just quickly in the mirror in the car or even maybe without looking. I can do it without looking. But for me, those two colors that are the most similar to my natural lip color, it's the CoverGirl Lip Perfection Jumbo Gloss Balm in, uh, well, it says 225 and it also says 2271. Does it say what color it is? Why does it not say what color it is? Well, it doesn't say what color it is, but anyway, it doesn't look like it's my natural lip color, but they roll up so you don't need a sharpener which is nice. Again, you don't need a lip liner. It's a kind of a fatter crayon, so it's pretty easy to get up close to your natural lip line. And that's just kind of my natural lip color, just kind of a mauvey pink. And like I said, I can do it without looking if I have to. So that one's pretty close to my lip color. And then also the MAC Luster and Sweetie is pretty close to my natural lip color. So these are really nice to keep in the car to put on on the go, to freshen up throughout the day. It doesn't require a lot of things to go with it, lip liners and sharpeners and all that stuff. So <clears throat> those, I would suggest any kind of lip color that's closest to your natural lip color to kind of make it easier when you're on the go. So those are my purse slash car essentials and necessities. Let me know if any of these things are things that you either haven't thought of or might find useful and maybe suggest some things that I haven't thought of that you keep in your purse or car that you have come, that you found to be really handy. So. Thanks for watching this video. I will see you guys in the next one and have a great day. Bye.